good morning. We've just cycled our bikes into town for the first time in months. It feels like I've ridden my bike. And we're just in the mall in town now. And today we're going to be getting a few bits for the house because there's various things that we need. We can't get any of the big stuff because we're on our bikes, but we can get the essentials like, what do we need again? Have we got the list? Oh, I hope so. I don't think we do. That's not my job. <sighs> okay, I know what we, want we need. We need like a dishwashing thingy, you know, to do the washing up with. A brush. Yeah, like a brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need, I know we need a mop. We can't get a mop today. We need tea towels, we need plates, we need mugs, sorry, cups. That type of thing, so jars. Well, hunt today. there's Debenhams, there's Lakeland. Now, I can't not go in here because this place is so great. But we will see if I, I'll try not to buy too much, but it's so great in here. Oh my God, it's Christmas galore. Look at all the baubles. They're a bit tacky though, aren't they? Oh my goodness. They've even got Christmas pencils. <laughs> Christmas notepads. This is actually like a minimalist nightmare because it's just tat. Mm. I swear Tiger used to actually have useful things, maybe because it's a season. They have seasonal stuff that so makes it all tat. Oh, look, hangers. One for two pounds. That's not bad, is it? Do you think, do you like these? You prefer them, yeah. Ooh, I, I don't care about hangers, so you choose them as you want. I don't like plastic ones, but I don't mind metal ones. So I've decided I'm getting these. Now Alex is having a go at me for getting so many, but I just would rather have enough. Some minimalist you are. <laughs> what about these? They actually do beautiful bowls and stuff, are this? That's so pretty, my mum would love that. I got my mum one from here last year. It's a lovely mug, isn't it? Look at that mug. Do you not think that's so beautiful? But I'm going to resist. These, I don't understand why these are trendy everywhere. They remind me of school. But every restaurant I go to, it seems it's like that they serve these. Industrial chic. But no, it's just a school cup. <laughs> oh, we need servant. We need coasters. These match our. Um, we do actually. We actually need these because we actually um, have matching. <coughs> we have slate. Um, what do you call them? So, that's not a serving coaster, is it? It's a. What is it, Alex? It's a mat. Serving mat. Serving. No, it's not. What is it? Mm. Why can't I think of it? Is there a word? Yes, there is. What is it? Placemat. Placemat. <laughs> oh my god, they actually have a Yankee Candle shop. I've never seen that in my life. Very we need to go in here. <gasps> oh my god, it smells like heaven. What's the one we had last year? Christmas Eve. Wasn't that the one we had? That's a good one. Mm. What about Christmas Magic? I think I got Christmas Magic for my sister. <laughs> That's the one. My favorite, I like the tree ones. This one, the perfect tree. The candy ones. No, I like, the, I like the Christmas ones. Festive cocktail. No. None of them are very sugary. Yeah, sparkling snow. I like the cinnamony ones. No, it smells like toilet. So many candles smell like toilet to me. <gasps> yeah, sparkling cinnamon. Oh yes, that is my favourite one. That's my favourite Christmas one. That's good. Isn't that oh. nice? Because oh. did you know Yankee Candle are vegan? They're vegan friendly. It's paraffin, isn't it? Hmm? I thought it was just paraffin. Yeah. It's not beeswax or anything. Ooh. Crackling wood fire. I'll have to get some. 15. No. No, not fan. It does not smell like anything like a crackling wood fire. My fave. Oh. Penny sale. Oh. Oh. oh, Alex has to go in, doesn't he? If you haven't tried Fry's chicken nuggets, they are literally the most realistic thing. They taste exactly the same. We're going down the lanes because we haven't been here yet. And I'm hoping that doing this vlogging makes us just look like tourists. <laughs> so if you've never been to Brighton or have no idea about Brighton, they have all these lanes, like really tight lanes where they've got loads of shops and it's so nice. They call them the, the lanes. <laughs> company it's calling my name 
Oh my god, this shop. Everything about it. Oh my god, this is so adorable. When my sister has kids, she's 100% going to be buying them things like this. Look at the penguins. <gasps> Look, Charlie. Look at the little penguin. Hello. <gasps> Look. So cute. Oh my gosh. Going here. It it does. These are lovely. Yeah. Um, but then if you back here, it, these ceramic then, things. Um, like this. And equally, if you're happy to do more, we might have some extra ones. Feel that you like it more. Oh no. <laughs> no. I like it. I do like that mug though. It looks good. This one. Over. It's a proper mug, yeah. So next week. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, this shop abode was beautiful. Everything in there was so nice, but. Everything in there was really nice, but not quite right. Mm. They had really ni some really nice plates, and then they were too dark in colour. I would want some light grey ones. Mm. And they had some nice bowls, but they felt horrible. So it's like everything was not quite right. But, oh, it's so gorgeous in there. And there was also like a lamp in there that was absolutely stunning, but it was obviously very expensive. <laughs> Let's go in here. Snooper's Paradise. That sounds like me. Okay, just got out of that shop. Couldn't really film in there, even though I got a few sneaky shots. It was incredible in there, wasn't it? And I tried on a couple jumpers, but they were weird fitting. And now, where are we going next? I think I'm pretty hungry. Are you? Yeah. I had two packets of crisps. Two? Yeah. You ate both of them? Yeah. Why didn't you share the second one with me? When did you do that? Like an hour ago. Are you joking? No. What? Food has arrived. I went for a vegan burrito. <clears throat> Alex has got a mini breakfast. I don't know how that's mini though. I'm not sure chips. about the chips. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I like the little bit of pesto and the mushrooms yeah. look nice. Can I have a mushroom? Yeah, yeah. Can I have a chip? You're going to oh anyway. no. That chip had baked bean on it. That's like my worst nightmare. Mmm. <clears throat> And baked tofu. Yum. See what I mean? School cups. <laughs> Just did a little miniature photo shoot outside all these cool houses. Got all the colours. Because I'm really um, behind on like Instagram pictures. So go follow me. I'm going to be posting loads of pictures. And Brighton is an amazing place to capture some pictures. So yeah. Thanks Alex for your patience. <laughs> better be. Better be thanks. Okay, I am double vlogging today because I'm also filming a what I ate today. So go check that out up here. I got hangers yesterday. When we went on that shopping trip yesterday, we actually didn't buy a lot. We didn't actually do a lot of shopping because all the places we went into were nice and had lots of stuff. But I think that one place like Abode had really nice stuff, but one, it was really expensive. And two, the stuff that I liked wasn't quite right. I think online shopping for a lot of this stuff will just be easier and I can kind of organize it better and realize what I need and get the thing that the exact thing I need so we're gonna do that later but right now I want to hang all of this junk up here right now it's got some clothes drying but those are the hangers I got from Tiger I'm gonna hang my clothes up and put all the clothes away and just tidy up in here because it's just a bit of a mess I think also I'm loving the idea of having this wardrobe closet on display because next year, I don't have the money to right now and I don't want to spend my money here right now, but I really do want to kind of rejig my wardrobe because I just don't feel comfortable or myself in a lot of the clothes that I own. And it's about time I like got clothes that I would wear every day because I've kept a lot of the clothes that I love, but 
I don't know, it's not quite right. I want to start building up a collection of clothes that make sense for every day for me, but for my lifestyle, the way I live, like the fact that I'm on my bike a lot, I need like comfortable clothes and being at home a lot, sort of lounging around, I'm kind of over the uncomfy clothes thing. Anyway, I've talked for five minutes and I'm gonna tidy this room up and hang my clothes up. So you're gonna watch me do that in probably the same outfit I've been wearing for the last few days. I swear I've showered. <laughs> I have actually um, changed my hoodie, but these trousers, these are Alex's like pajama bottoms. I found them and I was like, they're mine. <laughs> Does anyone else do that to the boyfriend? I have verbal diarrhea today. I'm like running at 100 miles an hour. Did you put some music on? Something I can sing along to. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold. I'm going to listen to Christmas music. Okay, so I finished my wardrobe and I normally with my wardrobe I organize it into like shirts, um, dresses, bottoms etc and um, colour coordinate it within those but because obviously there's only one rail and it's small I'm just colour coordinating it like this. You'll find or at least I found when I've decluttered you end up with a certain set of colours and I've, end I've ended up with black, white, uh, denims and reds and then a blue and purple. Do you know what it's weird because I look at it and I think do you know what this is not like what I want my wardrobe to be like necessarily. It doesn't really reflect who I am in a way and I haven't been shopping in so long that it kind of just a lot of this stuff I love but I haven't got the other items to pair it with so I don't know maybe that's kind of the point um, I'm at now with minimalism is kind of I've decluttered now I have to figure out my capsule wardrobe and that kind of means buying new things but there are certain items that need to be matched with other things to make them more practical like I really need a pair of mum jeans in my closet I really want a pair of really comfortable really practical black trousers because the amount of times that i need that and i want to wear a certain top and i don't want to wear leggings because i don't love the look of leggings as trousers i only really like them in certain situations like at home or in a situation where your bum is covered or whatever i need some comfy trousers but then the problem with trousers they're often not comfortable so that's tricky for me i have a few things here that i'm kind of like unsure of whether i should get rid of or not so this I can't hang up on this hanger because the it's too wide necked and it will fall off. This also I can't hang up because um, these hangers aren't the best. <laughs> and then these things I'm just not sure about keeping. This is not a declutter video, but I suppose it's gonna end up being like this in daily vlogs, uh, weekly vlogs where I do end up decluttering. So this dress I actually wore at Halloween. Did I wear it at Halloween? No, I didn't. Um, this dress is like a black lacy dress with like fluty sleeves. And I do love it, but I don't wear it. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna make a pile of things that I'm unsure of. And if I don't pick them up over the next couple months, cause this is a, you know, something I could wear over Christmas time. If I don't wear it, then it's going. And these are Alex's things. And then this is another one. I wore it um, at Halloween and I did wear it in my uh, video where I talked about my, how I stopped drinking and everyone was like, oh my God, your top's so nice. Because it's so see-through, I just don't really wear it in everyday life. I'd only really wear it for videos or if I was on holiday. So this either needs to go in the summer box or just needs to go away. If you hadn't noticed since moving, I'm having a bit of a wardrobe crisis where I don't like anything I own. So um, maybe there's more decluttering and um, shopping to come. Maybe that's a kind of good development of this whole thing is once I've decluttered, I'm gonna go shopping and I can show you how to secondhand shop, how to ethically shop and um, kind of show you all that side of things as I buy things so yay thumbs up for that okay so I've tidied the room up they're still drying made the bed we don't have bedside tables so we've just got like our pile of things by the bed um and we have a bed frame that's Alex's things that's all of our sports like workout gear cycling kit that's a pile of stuff that we're I'm pondering over getting rid of that's all our underwear for now so we need Definitely need a bed frame with under under bed storage or we can, we need bedside tables with storage. We can put our underwear on each of our bedside tables. And um, obviously we need to, it just, it's just cause we just moved in. I can't like, it's just always gonna be a bit like this to begin with. I just made a 
already purchased and Alex is mad at me because we just got two bowls from this lovely shop called, no not Truffle & Co, what's it called, where is it? Keep it living. Pe huh? Keep it living. Oh, literally my dream shop, everything in there I wanted to buy. I'm gonna be going back there to get some bits of the house, but I got two bowls, just like bigger bowls for bigger size meals. And um, they're a little pricey, but I just don't wanna buy like stuff I don't like for the meantime, because it's more waste of money, so yeah. I just love ceramic things, so. Yeah, and buying, they buying one pound bowls is a waste of money. So here they are, they are so beautiful, look. So they've got all this like speckled um, print on them and they're this lovely colour and I think I'm going to use them this evening for dinner and I've been looking for the right size bowls and these are a different shape to the usual bowls you'd have like with a dinner meal but I love eating out of bowls like first and foremost like I just prefer it to plates I just don't like eating on plates as much as I do bowls and these the, the amount of food that this is going to hold is actually a lot so I got two of them, one for me and Alex, and I think that they're gonna be perfect, and I love them. And I just think I needed that little thing of like a little treat for myself because I deserve it, and I, ha I really don't go shopping like this anymore. And yeah, this is just the sort of thing I wanted. So I'm happy with the purchase, and I'm gonna be going back to that shop for sure to get some pots for some plants, because I wanna repot all my plants because they're all like, they're just all like a little bit worse for wear at the minute. But I'm gonna end this weekly vlog here i hope you've enjoyed it it's been i think a little bit more all, all over the place or at least i feel like it has because it's been across a longer period of time and it's just been one of those weeks where there's just a lot going on moving into this flat and just i feel like oh my brain um but i'm excited for next week because it's going to be our first week where we've kind of we've moved in everything's kind of put away we've got all the things we absolutely need and yeah, I'm just gonna be getting back into a normal routine, a normal work week. I'm gonna be sitting at my desk. I'm gonna be waking up in the morning and working at my desk on my laptop, which has been so many months, like six months or something since I've done that. And I really miss that routine and I crave that just time to myself, having my to-do lists. And I'm gonna get back into meditation and gratefulness and just having my morning routine and going, um, I want to exercise in the mornings again and getting outside and, I'm just excited for tomorrow, for Monday and um, to get back into the swing of things. And yeah, I'll start another weekly vlog and keep you updated on that, how it's feeling moving in and having a routine. And I hope you've enjoyed this week. I'm absolutely loving doing these. It's like therapy because I can just chat and you know how much I love to talk. So it's just kind of a way of me letting it out. I've missed this kind of, I just love these sort of authentic, just straightforward vlogs. They're my favorite thing to watch and i really enjoy it so i hope you enjoy it too give it a thumbs up if you do don't forget to subscribe and yeah join all my facebook groups as well because i really like chatting to you in my facebook groups check out the links in the description my ebooks all that type of stuff because i don't actually shout that type of thing out often enough when i need to um and yeah don't forget to hit the notification bell i said this in my last video but a lot of you are being unsubscribed so if you want to be notified when i upload just hit the notification bell so you get notifications every time I upload a video and it just makes it easier and yeah I'll see you in the next one bye